Greetings and salutations. Welcome to another episode of 365 Days of Gaming. I appreciate you taking our time to check out this video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Greatly appreciate it, so thank you in advance. Now, today we're going to be talking about a game that combines a 90s cartoon with a sport. And, you know, it's a it's a crazy mashup of, of wacky characters and you get to do all kind of fun things. And you may be thinking of Looney Tunes B-Ball and, and you would be close, but not quite. We aren't, we aren't there yet. We got to work up to that one. Um, we're talking about Acme All-Stars, which stars the, the Tiny Tunes, not the Looney Tunes. I also got to have a uh, big shout out to Zach for helping me get some of this footage. So all the footage you see of uh, the gameplay today is actually me and someone else. So this is the first time that I'm not showing you footage by myself. And it feels good. It was fun. You know, put that work in and I uh, got a couple dubs. So appreciate you, Zach, for, you know, making me look good. No, but uh, you get to pick from all the different Tiny Tunes, which is really cool. So for soccer, you get to do four people because when somebody has to play goalkeeper and then in basketball, it's three on three. And, you know, each character has their own like power. So you have the ability to do like some sort of move based on their characteristics and, you know, stuff you see from the cartoon. And we couldn't get them to work well most of the time. I got the road runner to work because he just runs really fast. But most of the other characters we couldn't figure out. So if you see us do something and you think, oh, man, he's going to do something cool. We're not. Uh, we we tried though we did we really tried but it's fun I remember this game in particular because my cousins had Sega Channel which is one of the most incredible things that uh, was ever invented for kids during the 90s and it was basically like Netflix for for Sega games so you had Genesis hooked up with this big giant device and a coaxial cable and you go and you just pick from a list of games and we you know my cousin was like yo you gotta come over we got Sega Channel and I saw a commercial on TV already, and I was like, nah, uh y'all lying. And they really had Sega Channel, man, and that was a that was an incredible moment. You know, I felt like possibilities in life are endless just because of that one that one weekend. And we played a lot of this game, and it was really fun, and it's goofy, and it's uh, you know, one of those very touching touching times that I always kind of think back on. The video games being a big part of really cool moments, and this was one of them. But yeah, the game is is it's really cool. I mean, it's soccer. Um, it's, you know, it's not the most technical game, but it's really cool. It's its its own little little fun version. You don't have to really try too hard, even though we were trying hard and not succeeding a lot of times. But, you know, I'm assuming you could get really good at it. The other cool thing about the particular level we played is when you score, it actually does like a random, you know, random number for it between one to three. And so I scored once and they gave me three for it because my goal was, was better than Zach's. And so when Zach scored, he only got two. And I'm assuming it's because his goal wasn't as good and didn't show as much skill. And so we never scored again because the defense was on point. And I won. So the better the better goal scorer won on that one. But yeah, the basketball version, which is what we played more of as a kid. I remember playing a lot more basketball because it's basketball and we like basketball more in my household. Uh, it's it's a little it's a little easier to play. That's also the other thing is, is soccer takes more more work. I can say that. So we played the basketball one, and you know my people was out here putting putting baskets in and, and putting stops on defense. You know I had my boy Box stand over there, and you know we came out with the W. No, <laughs> um, but no no it was really fun, and it kind of took me back in some instances where you see like the things from the the special moves that work. When you get them to work right, it looks really cool, and it does remind me of the cartoon, which I always thought was like this was one of the, the games I remember really capturing the the spirit of a cartoon that wasn't like a a, a superhero game or beat them up. It was like okay, they can make fun versions of other things. You don't have to be everything doesn't have to be an action adventure, and everything doesn't have to be like a beat 'em up. They should most of the time. We, we would have done really good with a Tiny Toons beat 'em up game, I think personally, but. You know, these versions can be really fun, too. And also, you can put an extreme amount of time into these games and then play them later and not have any of the skill. Like, I am certain that eight-year-old Darius would have just beat the brakes off of me in this game. Like, he probably would have put up 100 light work, too, because I just, I lost all, all skill and momentum in this game. But yeah, it's still fun. Like, this is another game that's, like, just fun to play. You don't have to really think too much. It would be really cool if this was, like, four players. And then, you know, you could have a bunch of people playing. That's just me always wishing that everything is, like, four-player wacky co-op stuff. But 
if you if you do come across this in the wild i would definitely recommend playing it if you played this game and you know that you were better than me at least what you see today please tell me about it who was your favorite team what powers that you actually knew how to use tell me what the powers were supposed to be because i couldn't figure out anything but speeds and you know looney tunes b-ball will, will be soon i can't tell you when because i just i do these basically just by rolling dice but this will be you know this will make more sense that that now that you saw this version looney tunes b-ball will be the next level of this and as always i appreciate you checking out this video hope you enjoyed it y'all have fun y'all be safe peace